trees would be about 10 to 13 feet high. So these are little short little things that you're crawling around in. I mean, they're pretty spacious inside there. And again, some had small chapels in there to perform um, their um, time of the dead to perform their, their ceremonies. What you find in these is scratching um, on the caves or the walls. Um, they're kind of sketchy. They're not really detailed. It's basically almost a short rotation. It's kind of like a quick thing. And again, the theory for that is you're not going to spend a whole bunch of time down in the catacombs um, because of that smell that is doing there. Um, another question was maybe it's just that they're very amateur painters. They can't hire great painters to come down and put these things on there. And it, the message was more important than the skill level of the art. Okay? It was all about the meaning and not so much the, um, what was going on. Um, what images do you expect to see for Christianity? If you're down in the catacombs and you see symbols of Christianity, what do you think, expect to see? A cross? What else? Is, yes, that's very popular for Christianity. What else? A shell. A shell. No. Oh, a baptismal shell. Oh, a baptismal shell. Yep. Okay. The dove. What else? Any other ones? Halos. Okay, um, I'll tell you right now, the cross you will not see. Why? Okay, yeah, me and Kristen were just talking about this. Is there, like, is AD? It doesn't mean you after that. Anno Dominus, year of our Lord, is what it means. So is year, so like, like after zero? After is that when he's born? Yes. yes. Oh. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. I meant like after Jesus. No. So but now he is like AC. Now he is after the common era. I refuse to. I, I, was, I was going to convert, and I'm like, eh, forget it. I've always known it. This way it's about Christianity, so I thought it would be better. I told my mom that. Yeah. I, I, but anyhow, back to this. Why are we going to see the cross in these early years? Like before Jesus. Um, no, no, it wasn't. Yeah. Why are we going to see it? Come on, guys, think. Uh, think, think. Yeah. Why? It, it was a crim, uh, symbol of criminals at the time. It wasn't a symbol of criminals, but it was an obvious symbol of Christ. And you had to be pretty brave to walk around with a cross because of the persecution going on. Okay? So the cross was something that they did not depict. They were using something I would consider like more of secretive language because they didn't really want everybody to know that they were um, Christians. So they used these symbols. And you don't know who's a pagan, who's a Christian. You're not quite sure. So they had to be very, very careful about it. Um, have you guys heard the story about the fish? Mm -mm. You know, you see them on all the little cars, yeah. the little ichthus. You guys know that? You guys know how that started? The fishes and loaves. Wasn't that, is it about the story of like we had like about 5,000 people or like the fish and the whole thing? Like, when they met each other, one person drew one of the fish, another, another one. Yep. So if I um, saw Carter and I wanted to know if he was a Christian or not, I could just nonchalantly kind of put this in the dirt, and if he responded to it, I would know that he was a Christian, it'd be okay to talk to him. Beliefs. So it was. It started out as a secret handshake, so if wait, you want to say. What would you respond with? Another the, fish? The, another fish. <laughs> <laughs> the more you draw the fish, and then he draws the rest of the fish. Like you draw this little curvy line, and then he finishes the curvy line. Yeah. How do you approach that? So, uh, <laughs> well, no. I mean, first of all, why did you just draw no, fish? So <laughs> Yeah. He's like, I thought you just like fish. <laughs> it's, like, it's a fish. That's what I'm having for supper tonight. No big deal. Um, I'm a fisherman, kind of thing. So they, they would just, they just symbols that could mean a couple different things, and that they would be okay. So um, Christian subjects replaced pagan Roman themes. So what they did is they took Roman themes and they made them Christian. And what do I mean by that? Everybody, I keep forgetting you don't have these slides. Um, the Good Shepherd, um, the Orator Guy, um, the Monogram, which is basically letters. But what they did is the Good Shepherd was really Christ um, and soul, which he saved. And 
the ornate is really um, praying figure with open arms. And the monogram of Christ is really the Greek letter X, MP, which means X pronounces cry, roll, which is Christ. Christian was buried there. So these are some of the symbols. And just hold on, don't freak out on me. You can see the similarities from the past. So they were non threatening They couldn't be accused of it. The similarities are so scary. Look at this one. Even with the straps that are going across, and of course, people believe that Christ is the saving lamb. Um, so the lamb became the symbol of Christ. Um, again, the Christians, that's how some of these symbols came about. I'll let you draw for a bit. What was the last one on the tape? Um, it was the X. The P with the X going across the cross bit. And uh, the X. Christian was buried there. Again, the similarities are just crazy. And then, of course, we have the Greek, the fish. We have the anchor, um, the swastika. I don't remember what the swastika was. The dove with um, the olive branch, which is peace. Um, the anchor, the symbol of the anchor became the symbol of Christ, too, because it symbolized the hope in Christ. All-seeing eye. Ooh, where is this at? It's money. It's not our dollar bill yet. Um, the fish, which is Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. So again, you can um, do some research on these humanities projects uh, of the different symbols that um, early Christians used. So, characteristics. Ready? Um, it seems like early Christian art is amateur artists. They're more of this scratching, scribbly kind of message is more important than anything else. Um, the artists draw from their environment, so they took symbols that were from um, the pagans and they made them their symbols to make them safe. They use imagery from the pagan gods. Olympian gods still worship at the same time. Um, and that idea of the pagan gods. So, they kind of stole the idea so that they um, could hide behind that if it was necessary to hide behind it. We're going to shift a little bit um, to frescoes and some of the earlier, um, and you know what a cult, we always think of cult as a negative thing. Any organization, like the Christian, Christians are a cult, it's an organization. We always think of cults as the ones that are drinking the crazy Kool-Aid kind of things. Um, but cults are... Um, a group that have the same beliefs. So when we look at, this is an example of Palm K, and the reason I'm showing you this is because you're going to see that these images change to Christian images. It, they take the same ideas and they just run with it. This is a um, wall from Nero, Homo Nero. Um, look at the patterns that are happening here. Look at this kind of thing that's going on. Um, the different scenes in the pattern panels. And this is where we're heading. This is Christian. They look so similar that if you had it on your wall, you would be okay. Nobody's going to come into your home and accuse you um, you can still use your beliefs, have your beliefs, but not be persecuted. 